Hello everyone, this is Stone from Accelerate and in this episode we're going to teach you all about hyperlinks in Excel. So hyperlinks are quite easy concepts to understand and uh, this will link to files and folders within your desktop but from within Excel. So this is a quite nice tutorial so stay tuned. If you find me for the very first time be sure to hit that little subscribe button, it's just here down the corner takes you one second and you'll stay up to date from all the videos being posted by the player of Excel, this guy. Alright guys, so hyperlinks in Excel. So I'm going to show you the, the nice and easy way to do it and then I'm going to show you some VBA code uh, that is very interesting. So very first of all you can click in any cell in Excel. So you can open up a workbook and you can right click and here right at the bottom you will see hyperlink. It will ask you where do you want to hyperlink from so let's say it's an existing file uh, and this is a current folder within my desktop and i'm going to use example one and i'm going to go into a pdf any random folder and i'm going to say yes so there we go in a1 it will hyperlink that specific path so if this was for argument's sake invoice and i wanted to link to that pdf invoice we just link to hyperlink you just click on it and you say yes and uh, this will create a hyperlink. There we go. There it opens up example one, the PDF. And uh, that's the very basic way to create a hyperlink. I'm going to undo and uh, I'm going to show you the accelerate way how to do hyperlinks. Now, this enables you to take multiple files within a folder and dynamically put it into your list here. So I would like you to go to the developer tab ribbon here up above. If you don't have the developer tab, no worries, it's a quick fix. Uh, you could go to file, you go to options, you will go to customize ribbon and you will make sure that the developer tab here is ticked on. So we want to make sure that the developer tab is ticked on and you're going to say OK and this will give you the developer tab. So first of all, you're going to go into Microsoft uh, or Visual Basic here and uh, you'll see my line of code is already populated here. but for you guys you're going to click on the very first step here you're going to right click you're going to insert a module so this will create module one and within my module i have this code here uh, already written up for this tutorial i'm going to leave this code for you in the video descriptions whereby you can just copy and paste it if you want to copy it you just highlight all the code from the sub up until the end sub you're going to hit Control c to copy and you go into module one and you're going to hit so we're going to hit Control c i'm going to show you you highlight everything Control c uh, or you can say Control x to cut and you can say Control v to paste that specific code in now this is going to be an awesome tutorial yet whereby we use vba code you go search for those files in the folders and dynamically list it here or hyperlink it here so then there's two ways where we can access this code now you can hit in the developer tab macros so you can hit macros and hyperlink will uh, show here and you can just say run so this will prompt you where is the folder whereby you want to link to so i know on the desktop my, i'm going to use example one and uh, i'm going to say okay so there you go these are these are the two files that's living in that folder i'm going to open it up from within my explorer here and show desktop example one it's only those two files that's living here an excel file and a pdf file so now i can click on it and it will open up my pdf there it opens up and if i click on my excel document yes and it will open up that excel there's example one very awesome very quick and if you add in more files you can just rerun this macro and uh, it will dynamically update the, the uh, files that's in that folder i'm going to show you a second way how to access the macro i'm going to create a new sheet here and i'm going to insert a shape so let's say uh, a, a square shape you can just click it here and uh, you can say uh, hyperlink type in hyperlink and what this effectively does uh, let's make the formatting a little bit better here home 
just going to put it in the middle and there now you can assign a macro to this button I, we effectively created the button of the shape you can just right click you can say assign macro and you're going to assign it to hyperlink and you say okay so every time when you click this button it, it's going to run the macro instead of you going to through the ribbon and uh, running it so let's go i know in example three i've got lots of files here so uh, this is a perfect uh, opportunity to showcase what the power is of this macro you double click on it and you say okay and look at this it put out all my my video files my mp4 pdf xls images even and uh, it uh, effectively uh, worked its way through through all that file you can hyperlink we can go to example two say okay and it will effectively add it as well guys i really hope you liked my uh, tutorial here uh, very quick very easy and uh, i left my code for you and i'll see you for our next tutorial cheers guys